We'd like you to welcome to the stage, Miri Sopal. How's everybody doing tonight? Awesome. So I did not celebrate Valentine's this year, unfortunately. But really, I think it's a bit of a hoax. I mean, who really wants a giant teddy bear? Or, you know, the bloody $80 tulip set whoever spent on you did buy. Uh, let's be realistic, we're all waiting for the 50% off chocolates and the discounted condom and loops. <laughs> I signed up for Tinder last week. I know, no, it's not that good. <laughs> guys, let's get your, you guys get your shit together. I mean, I'm looking at all these pictures. You guys got your tranquilized tigers, selfies with freaking small dick selfies, middle finger up selfies, blurred face selfies. I mean, I want some real good stuff, like, Attract me to this. I want some of you guys baking me a French baguette. <laughs> you know, like, show me you building a house. I mean, we can have a photo in Vancouver. <laughs> or even like clipping your mom's toenails. <laughs> yeah. Get your shit together, guys. Uh, well, I mean, I'm open to dating brown guys at times, I mean, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like she, like she's laughing up. They're all freaking mama boys. I mean, grow up here. They're still breastfeeding at 37. Uh, I mean, I go more so into the white guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take rum straight, but hold the roofy guy. <laughs> Last weekend. Ugh. I tried tuna sushi uh, back in my experimental years during college. I realized I am not a lesbian. I'm not into anal. I mean, the world screws me in the ass every day. Right? Yeah. I have my grew up in East Van, all East Van people in the house. Yeah, and I uh, grew up a total tomboy. Uh, short hair, freaking you name it. I, yeah, had it all going on. Track suit. I mean, I know I get to do crisis at the age of two. But being the third sister in an Indian family, like, they try everything. They dress me, they had talk like boy, play sports, the whole shebang. It was, uh, it was, it was rough. rough. <laughs> but, um, I don't even pass that one, sorry. <laughs> uh. <coughs> sorry? Yeah, yeah, we'll pass that one. But you know what they really do need is, uh, these days is uh, show the real housewives of East Van. I'm sick of this whole bullshit, Beverly Hills and stuff. East Van, you'd have your Filipino lady on there, the Tim Hortons. You know, like, sir, 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 please, can I order you a meat jump domo domo? <laughs> then you'd have the Vietnamese lady straight up in the nail salon asking you, yeah, you want some shellac nail? You want gel nail? Twenty one dollar. You got both hands? Yeah, we've been there, right? And then you have the Chinese lady in the back alley who's rolling around in a roby cart, freaking, you know, collecting those cans secretly. I told her one day, like, hey! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to collect enough money. To buy some broccoli soup, just you know. I mean that that stuff would make me laugh way better than the other shit they have on TV these days. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. I, uh, my dad, I mean, you know, he's living and we're kind of known as a chief, but we went out last week, last week we went out for a family trip, and he uh, booked a hotel that was like 50 kilometers off from city center because it was 70 bucks cheaper. And so, you know, he's, his justification to you know, it was like, Needy, you know, you are looking very hard these days, you know? I look like I'm pregnant, and your mother, she has a bloody muffin top. You know, we all need to get a few samosa off our asses. I was just figured out, like, I'm fat, I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay, well, well. Speaking of cheap asses, my exes, all freaking like instant noodles. Done in two minutes. I mean, so much for four flight guys. It's like an instant scratch and win. I mean, for them, and then I'm at the bonus play area. Please play again. 